What's up guys, ViperFV here, and today we're going to learn how to direct solder an antenna onto a receiver. This will also apply to a VTX um, and other types of receiver antennas as well. Uh, so right here we have two wires. You can see if you're real careful stripping down the single wire, this is a Crossfire uh, Immortal T antenna. Uh, if you just get the outside little loose strands on the outside, put those in a bundle, and then the middle one has its own little protective layer. That's the actual main uh, part that um, gets the receiver signal and then the other part around it is like the ground. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually solder the outside of it as you can see here uh, real nice and then we're going to trim it up after we solder the other part on first. Uh, so let me show you guys here right after we got this all soldered here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this top about one to two millimeters off that silicone in the middle and then I'm going to go ahead and we can apply some solder to it as well and we're going to go ahead after this and we're going to be real careful now if you're really not skilled at soldering I probably would not suggest this, this is probably one of the hardest thing in F FPV to probably do is it uh, solder antenna wires on because they are so tiny and the pads are just really really small so what we're going to do is we're going to put some flux on the entire receiver over here where we're working and then we're going to go ahead and solder on the main uh, antenna wire that was in the middle onto the receiver. Um, and just make sure that none of that outside wire is actually touching that connection. And then once that is done, we can go ahead and start trimming the um, ground uh, pad, not the ground pad, but the actual ground wire, and be able to um, solder that onto the board itself as well. Uh, just take your time, be real patient, uh, but you should be able to get it. If you ever have like a broken one and you want to practice on, perfect time to practice doing some soldering and getting the hang of it. Um, even for me, it is pretty difficult. So um, yeah. So let me go ahead and uh, I think I'll end the video. This is a real quick tip for today. Um, hope I, you guys learned something. I think a lot of people don't realize that there's actually two different antennas inside the receiver uh, and wire. But uh, yeah, so that's how it communicates. It has the you know ground, and then it also has the actual uh, receiving or transmitting part of the antenna wire in the middle. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.